In this module, we're going to talk about how to add resources from this mixer to the room. So first of all, as we work our way down the list here, there is settings. So you could change the password to get into the system, uh, NTP server configuration, timing information, all basic information that you may have to change. But if we go down to the room itself, let's go down to resources and partitions. So notice the first room here is partition A. Now you have a pencil here that you can actually rename that and I'll just keep it simple and we'll just call it room A. So just to keep it every everything very simple. So I'm gonna to go to that and notice that name has been changed. So in room A, you'll notice on this side is the available assets from that particular mixer of the 128VD. So in this case, I would have 128 would be 12 inputs. So I got 12 mic line inputs. So to keep it simple, I'm going to add a couple of these. I'll use uh, one for a handheld and one for a lavalier. So we'll uh, let that be simple enough for that. Then we can go to the beamforming mic. Now, just because we added a beamforming mic in the devices section, which we did here, we only just added this to the stack. So this is a P-Link device, so, but I could have three beamforming mics here, but which beamforming mic goes into which room, that is where you will now see here, you're actually adding which particular beamforming mic you want to go in that room. So here I would add a beamforming mic to room A. Next, let's add a USB to the project. In this case, notice we have two channels of USB. This is bi-directional left and right. So we could add just maybe one for a mono signal. But in most cases, it's best to go ahead and add both because of some channels may be mono, but they may also be on the right channel. So it's always best just to be sure that you get no missing audio is to go ahead and add both of those USBs to the project. If we are gonna use VoIP for this particular uh, room, we would then add a VoIP phone in there. It'd be phone number one. Again, a lot of these settings you would have changed in the device section under settings and say, how are those VoIP, how is this VoIP system configured? But here I'm just adding the asset to the room. We'll do another module on processing blocks and faders later, but then let's go down to the output. What is the output for this particular system? So maybe we're going to have ceiling speakers in this particular room, and we want to have a line out going out of the mixer to an amplifier to feed some ceiling speakers in this particular room. So we'd add a mic line output. And we won't work with Dante now. Dante inputs and outputs we would have here. We'll work with that later. And anytime I have more than one microphone, I would always use a gating group. So in this case here, I would add a gating group, and we'll have more on that a little bit later in other modules. The GPIO, we're not going to use any of those pins for now, but again, you would have configured them in the settings section, but here is where you would actually add a particular GPIO for that room. So in this case here of adding assets, that's fairly simple. Next module, we'll go into naming.